How long did Jennifer live there? She probably lived there for... It probably was a June. Yeah, it didn't actually give a year. So it was not... Yes, it did. It did. No, when you enter that chapter, it does In not June? give you a year. Yeah, it does. It, it, it just says, says June 1929. Why does it say 1929, though? That doesn't make any sense. It shouldn't say 1929. I don't know. I can actually go look, because I do no, have no, no, a save. No, 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 no. It does say 1929, and you know why? Because everything else in the game takes, dur takes place, place during, during 1930. 1930. That's why. She was there for at least half a year. At least. No, she was there for at least a year and a half. Excuse me, half a year, a year and a half? Excuse my... Wait, no. No, wait. No. Because it's... Oh, God. When does... I'm trying to think of when, um... The Unlucky Cloverfield takes place. That would be May. May? It would be May. Oh, wait. Wait, no. Wait. May is... is that May? No, it's April. Yeah, April. 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 Oh, May. Yeah, so it had to be, because it had to be in 1929. There's no way. I know. It and says then, 1929 right here. I, I looked at it, and I was like... Yeah, mm. so it's so basically there's a half a year where nothing happens, because she hadn't found Brown. And exactly. And then January, she does go to Brown. She finally... Well, we can assume that she found Brown probably that December somewhere uh -huh. in there, or that earlier that January. Because whenever she goes to Brown, she already knows where he is, so she, she already knew he was there, yep. waiting for her. Um, in February, Mar February and March, nothing happens, because I'm guessing Wendy's preparing. Yeah. She's Wendy's setting everything up. Cracking. She's cracking at that part. And or, and she's also setting up the other girls to yeah. take part in the Rule of Rose. She's and therefore she's shun Jennifer. Their, she's planning their, you know, all their stuff. Yeah. Like, planning their every... Their aristocrat bit. society. That makes sense. That the timeline, that makes a lot yeah. of sense. See, that's I, think the, it, I think it's a good thing to know that timeline because it makes the game a lot clearer. Exactly. That's the thing where the developers kind of caused problems was the timeline really, really skewed. Yeah. And really the hard to that understand. they did right, though, was they put the, um, they put, they're putting, like, when it happened, like, June. Yeah, this. they did put, like, dates, which was good. And it just takes a lot of thought to kind of piece it all together. That's why we're doing this. To help yeah. everybody else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, there is a gap in the game. There is a gap between... I believe it's a July? No. There is a gap. There's a, a one-month gap. August. April, June, July. June, because June is 1929. Yeah. June they put as 1929 because July's there and then the chapter before um the chapter before June or uh, July is May so we have a June that's missing and it's of the wrong date yep so we have no idea what happened during that June. there's like, no what, telling was there nothing that actually happened that June? I doubt nothing happened that June. But... Yeah, something must have happened. I guess it just wasn't important enough. They just didn't feel like putting another chapter in. Lol. <laughs> that was it. They wanted to keep it a full year, huh? Yeah. Well, even they didn't if it even wasn't do out a of, full year because there was no year. February. Yeah. Or March. There's no February, but that's probably because no February wait, there's was. March. There's a March. Never mind. <laughs> February, February was probably uneventful. Yeah. Because, you know, it was probably just her planning all that. Yeah. Um, it, does it say when the uh, airship crashes? Yes, but I don't remember the date. Because uh, then we can get... Let me see if I can find it yeah, real quickly. Yeah, have to find it. Sisters. Um, 
but yeah, that's basically Wendy's whole story, and yeah, she technically did train Gregory to kill, essentially. Mm-hmm. So. Which is kind of creepy. Yeah, so that's why you shouldn't like Wendy. She taught, um, she trained a man who already knew how to murder and taught him to murder who she wanted. But, like, I didn't know that she was, she actually brought him there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Um, I just looked, um, at the, uh, the newspaper that tells you about the disappear the disappearing children. Yeah. And guess when they took place? When? June twenty first. That year, nineteen twenty nine. So Jennifer was already there. So it was yeah. after Joshua died. So when he was taking him in to show his son, he was actually talking about Jennifer. Yes. And his diary are done in June too. So that can also be said as basically what happened was he wasn't going out to plant peas (laughs) he wasn't going out to plant peas nope exactly nope all that he was killing yeah so wait okay but wait there's makes sense June 23rd is whenever the uh, airship went missing so Joshua w- wasn't dead. He died. He died a while ago. No. If children, no, the, the whole children so disappearing he thing. W- going missing on um the four, the seventh and the fourteenth. So we can't. Oh, hold on. Oh, excuse me. I need to read that correctly. It's seven and fourteenth, meaning the fourteenth of June. June. Sorry. Excuse me. We can assume that Joshua died sometime in early June, then. Yes. Early June, he must have died. Like, somewhere, maybe the 7th, he got worse. Maybe the 14th, he died. Yeah. No, 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 no. Excuse, excuse whenever I said 7th. 7th doesn't exist. It's not a day. It's June. I forget that I'm reading Old British stuff, because Old British stuff was 7th and June, meaning this, meaning... The 14th of June. That's what that means. Okay, so maybe the 14th of June is Joshua's death date. Possibly. But but then again, you have to clarify there that Gregory also says he brought them home. Hold on, hold on, hold on. On the 14th of June, whenever he does, whenever he's, you know, whenever he writes in his diary, it says planted peas in the ground. Mm Mm-hmm. So he probably already killed them. So they may have... Maybe that's just when they noticed it. Maybe kidnapped them before then. I have a theory, and it's a very, very wild one. Mm -hmm. Joshua, for some reason, stops moving, doesn't wake up, blah, 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 blah. He thinks maybe bringing someone else home for him to play with might rouse him to get out of bed. He kidnaps someone, brings him home, and when Joshua doesn't get up, and he's dead, the child freaks out even more, and he kills them. Could be possible. It's a wild theory, but it's just kind of something it thrown out there. It would make sense. <laughs> because, considering how delusional he gets... It wouldn't be surprising if he had trouble even knowing that Joshua was dead when he would when he died. And even then, if wait, does he stop talking about Joshua until the twenty first at any point? No. No. He's on on Thursday, June nineteenth. He says more weeding. I want to take Joshua out with me to the fields, but his costs were getting worse. So it's between the nineteenth and the twenty-first that he that Joshua died. 